terms of the innovation, you know, we're, it's not us that's confined, it's our clients that are booking the travel, that want their travellers to stay within particular policies uh, for a good reason, because of safety and security mainly. But yeah, what was interesting to see was other members of the panel, how they're approaching it. There was another TMC here, so it's interesting to see what they were doing. And really, you know, for us, that process continues. But you've taken a big step recently that you've appointed somebody specifically, uh, I think you call them an innovation person, but entrepreneurial is another word, uh, transformation is another yes. word. That, you said, has sped up transformation dramatically. Well, it's not actually a person. There's a whole team of people that have come in under the Chief Technology Officer. So that is their primary role. Um, and actually, they've all come from digital companies. Um, so I think, again, that's the most... Uh, that's the most exciting bit for me always working in a traditional company to see these people come in with their ideas uh, you know and how they're going to transform the company and that's a cultural shift it, I mean that affects everybody in the business it, not absolutely. just absolutely the biggest and I think the biggest thing that uh, you can do or any company can do when they're going through this uh, we've now got a social intranet so before it was very siloed we had an intranet site yes of course we've gone social intranet um, and they are really getting that message across uh, to all of the people that work for the company, why we're doing it, how it's going to work, what it will look like. Um, and actually back to one of the panel points was talking about we've got this company, but we actually do also encourage all of our employees. We have uh, something called CWT Spark to actually register and say, you know, if you've got a great idea, tell us. And we're really seriously considerate in the innovation team. And then talk to me, you mentioned obviously one of uh, your, uh, a very similar company here on the panel. Talk to me about a discussion like this that's very open, very mm -hmm. small, there's a lot of friends, you know, here. Uh, how useful is that for you to kind of have this, you know, uh, I suppose very informal gathering? Very useful because, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you may have a competitor, but we are all aligned and in terms of their vision you know everyone has got a similar vision but actually we also operate uh, with a lot of the companies in different spaces um, but again you know we had the guy from Whitbread here you know we still book their hotels you know that's what we facilitate and companies. I think you're you're unique in that you know digital transformation a lot of the conversation came back to the customer you've got to keep transforming for them but yet yeah. you're first in line to be able to you know maintain loyalty uh, and develop that relationship where you know loyalty is an issue these days. Yes, absolutely. And, and that's the one reason that you have to transform because you have to keep that and you want to keep that customer loyalty. Plus, obviously, you want to grow as a company. Um, but yeah, that loyalty doesn't just take the form of we've given great customer service uh, through any of our channels, but it also has to continue through either the, the life of their travel, you know, when they're out and about, or even when they get back. You know, everything has for them has to be easy to do, uh, but they also have to feel like they've had a good service from what we've delivered. Perfect, thank you very much.